Hello everybody, today we've got this tiny power supply from an old server system. It's only 60 watts, not a big deal. But a man who brought it to me said he wants to get back to life his system. Let's check it before opening. Do we have any signs of life and as you can see we don't have standby voltage let's make sure with a multimeter that there is no any voltage standby and yes there is nothing but you didn't see it but the lamp blinked so it means that the fuse is okay and probably the primary side is also okay so I suppose there is a problem with standby circuitry and we're gonna check it just for screws okay I unscrewed it here you can see the insides Nothing special. There is a control board. Pretty nice. And uh, here is the standby IC. And this is what I'm gonna check first because I don't see anything obvious. Let's unscrew it. And check together. First time I see this power supply. Never had anything like this before. But I hope we will be able to fix it. That's the back side. Nothing obvious also. I can see some work has been done before here. They probably changed the capacitor, the bulk capacitor. Let's discharge it just in case. Well as I said, nothing obvious. And from this side also. So now I'm gonna check the IC. Maybe we will see something. Usually we check those ICs, source and drain, because those IC contains inside a MOSFET. If you know where those legs you can easily check it. Also, lay, let's make sure that there is nothing shorted at the output, because who knows, maybe we've got a shorted output, got a shorted 5 volts. No. 3.3, 5 and 12. Nothing is shorted, so let's proceed and check some MOSFETs. And here is the IC. As you can see, between source and drain, this is too low, way too low. It doesn't have to be like this. You should see a built-in diet. Okay, here I have a new one and this is the one we unsolder it. I didn't show you, but you should trust me. As you can see, this is a new... no, this is an old one. 
and this is a new one. In a new one we see a built-in diet as I said. So this one is good. Hopefully this is the only reason and I soldered it back. Let's try. Do we have success or not? And and there is nothing. No light. So there is a problem somewhere because <clears throat> no light lights up. Okay, after examining the schematic, I found that on the line from the bulk capacitor to, this, to the drain, there has to be low ohm resistor and it is blown. You can see it in the red marking, in the red rectangle. This is a typical schematic and uh, on the typical schematic there is actually no resistor at all. So I decided not to bother myself with unsoldering it and just to put a tiny wire from this side and that should do the job because that resistor is actually acting like a fusible resistor maybe it's limiting in rush current but I think a tiny wire would do the same the main fuse of this power supply is 3 amps this tiny wire can carry about 1 amp so protection is still there we should add some insulation because our wire would cross the traces underneath we should insulate it just like this with captain tape that should be fine it's not it doesn't want to stick but I make it stick and solder it just like this remove it this one put back and we are ready to try one more time hopefully this time it's gonna be okay You shouldn't do this directly from mains, of course. I'm using isolating transformer. So I'm kind of safer. But when you work with high voltages, there is no safety. You should be careful and use your brain not to chat, not to touch everything. Okay, now I turn it on, my isolating transformer, and as you can see, we've got the light. Now I'm bypassing the lamp, which was meant to limit the current. Now there is no limit, and it's working. It's working. All the voltages are here. This is DIY tester, but it's okay. Let's try and test it with a better tester. In order you can see it, 5 volts, 12 volts, 3.3, power good is okay, so this one is fixed, that's for sure. I'm not gonna show you how I'm, I'll put it back. 
So that's it for this one. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Goodbye.